Hello artists, welcome back. Yay! Okay, so guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm gonna take you through a little bit of like show and tell today on some of my favorite sketching pencils and some of the colored pencils that I like to sketch with because there ain't nothing wrong with sketching with colored pencils. You're gonna find out what's in this baby right here and then I got this right here. And so I'm gonna take you through a little bit of that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe for more art related content. I hope that you like this video and if you do, hit the like button and all that jazz. You guys are awesome, okay? So yo, you know how to do all that stuff anyways. You, you kids these days, okay? All right, anyways, I'll see you at the end of the, of the video. Okay, so this thing I bought off of Amazon <laughs> and I bought it used and it's kind of getting to be almost a little bit overflowing. I'm pretty sure that it will be too long that the, the zipper will probably break. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up. I will show you what I have in here. And I don't use all of these all the time, but I like to keep them with me. So this is what I have inside this front cover here. And what I like to do is keep the color race pencils by Prismacolor because who wouldn't want to sketch in color, right? I mean, I love these things. They're fantastic and they're perfect for on the go. And I don't use the eraser that much on them. I mean, I have, and they're not the best erasables, but you know what? That's what we keep extra erasers for. And then of course I keep some blending stuff because you'll see that I have a lot of charcoal and graphite in here. And then I also have three colors of the Blick Studio pencils and these are very very rich and vibrant in color and I just don't want to lose them so I just put them in there I probably should find a new place for them though moving on oh and one other thing if you guys want me to kind of give you a little bit of a demo on what I like to do with these how I like to sketch with them um, please let me know in the comments below I just finished up this eye in here let's see here yeah this is what I like to do with them Eyes are some of my favorite things to sketch and I can always do a demo for you. So as you can see here, we have the Derwent Artists kind of black and white color selection here. I don't have the other one, which is kind of a blue tone, but if you looked really close, you can see that on the white pencils, one of them's called Oyster and it's kind of a pinkish white. And then you have Arctic, which is a regular white. And then you have these, these deeper tones, which are kind of an indigo, like a, a dark, dark indigo midnight. And you have Raven, which is obviously a black color and then Forest, which is like a deep, deep, deep green. And then I have, I'm not going to go through all of the stuff, but I do really like these aquarelle pencils by faber castell and then i bought a technolo by car and dash just to see what it's like by the way the graph wood by car and dash is really smooth i really like it i just bought an open stock 4h this little guy right here this prismacolor ebony i did not realize how versatile this was you can actually sketch an entire sketch with it um an entire picture with it and i made this last year during a drawing class and I, he kind of reminds me of Jason Lee but it was all done with this one pencil and I just thought that was kind of brilliant because if you if you are familiar with your values you just need one pencil and it's it's a soft pencil but it is a very very nice pencil to sketch with you just have to keep in mind of what type of pencil you're using whenever you just sketch with one and then of course I've got this random pro color right here I really like this color it's dark indigo and I like to sketch with it so moving on in here I haven't played with this yet that much. It is the Carndosh Charcoal Black. It's very thick. I really like it. And these, I'm in love with these. I wish I had a better example to show you guys, but these are oil-based pencils that are kind of like drawing pencils, but they're charcoal too. And they're by Faber-Castell. See, they say pit oil base, and they're soft and extra soft. They are so beautiful. I don't know how to describe them to you, but I do know that I have another kind of oil-based charcoal. And they're kind of my favorites too. And they are the Creative Color Nero and they have medium soft and extra soft. So pretty. I just love the feeling. And to be honest, drawing with different pencils really is a sensory experience. It's just like how when you have your favorite pen and your favorite gel pen or ballpoint pen which that can be a whole other video you guys i have a, a large collection of pens i went on a pen haul recently but getting back to what i was saying these are very very beautiful they're smooth and they don't have they don't spread the same way as like regular charcoal does they're very nice they're they almost draw like um like a soft pencil but right here 
and this eye right here, this was mostly created, I outlined it in, I believe, a 4H, and then this right here, and the shading right here, that is in the Creative Color Nero pencils. Beautiful. I love them. I, I love that they're not, they don't smear as much. Now, nothing wrong with charcoal. Charcoal serves its purpose, but you'll see these are um, the medium soft and extra soft. And gosh, I'm just, I'm in love with them. Love them. And then I have the collection of Conte crayons or not Conte crayons, Conte drawing pencils. And there's a wide variety. And I actually bought this in a sketching set, which is on Amazon. If, if the price is still the same, they are about $20, which is a bargain for what they are. And I sharpen these with a knife, either a straight razor or I use an X-Acto knife. And there's no way around it otherwise because you're going to break the leads and everything. But these provide a wide range of darks and there's their carbon pencils. And then they've got, I love the Pierre Noir and the charcoal. And then of course you have your kind of a regular sketching pencils, but they're just in a thicker barrel. And uh, we have this Oriental blue by Derwent watercolor. I really like that color and I don't have my full set anymore. Um, I just didn't end up using it, so I got rid of it, but I still have some random watercolor pencils around here by Derwent. Now these, these little Faber-Castell fat guys, these are the Jumbo Graphites. I love these too. They're great for covering a, a large area, and especially for those of you who are like me that have arthritis and deal with different hand fatigue issues, they're great for that whenever you want to get down a lot of space. And especially if maybe you don't want to spend a whole lot of time on a portrait maybe and you want to work on a specific section, but you don't want to, you know, sit there and just lay little circles, then these these work well for that. And they're, they come in a range from HB to 8B. And then we have the Mars Lumograph, which those are dark as well, carbon type of pencils. And they are pretty much the same as their regular drawing pencils, which I really like, but they have that extra carbon in them. So that makes them really, really nice, dark and rich to get your tonal values. Now these, these are, these are special. Okay, so Color Race used to be owned by Faber-Castell way, way, way back in the day. And I got these in a lot from a gentleman that was an architect and he had been getting rid of a lot of his vintage colored pencils and drafting pencils that he used. So I bought his stuff, a big old bag of stuff, and I've got a bunch of Eagle and Barrel Prismacolors that I still just absolutely love. And so I keep these just in here for safekeeping in case I want to use them. And in fact, I just recently used the Tuscan Red over the Prismacolor color race, and I found that this one was richer in color. So I'm sure the formula is different, but for an aged pencil, th this actually is darker and richer. And I mean, if that's what you're going for, then it's probably a better situation. But if you can get your hands on them, and I would check out eBay if you want to look for any vintage color pencils. Now these, these are the Car and Dosh Super Color, Super Color, Sup supra color watercolor pencils they are water soluble and these are the only ones that i have i bought all of these open stock and i just thought you know what it would be nice to keep these for watercolor pencil um sketching on the go if i wanted to instead of you know picking out certain colors from my albrecht Durer, which are my number one favorite watercolor pencils these are comparable they aren't quite as good they they don't quite dissolve as well as say um the albrecht Durer. And from what I understand, the Mu Museum Aquarelle, that's their highest in in quality. From what I understand, I, I plan to get a small set just to verify that information. But, you know, this is still still good, rich color. I really like these just to keep on the go. And really, you don't need a, a big set. You can still like mix colors over each other and then add water. So here's the nice messy part, right? <laughs> we got the black wing here. Are they all the hype? Um, I'm still, the jury's still out on that, but I do really love the way that they feel when I use them. They are very, very smooth. This is the original Blackwing 602. I keep an extra 8B on hand of the Mars Lumograph. This one's been shaved down for larger areas. And in here I get, you know, I got my kneaded eraser. I've got some ballpoint pens and I keep the Art Graph water soluble graphite in here and it's really hard to open, but we're not going to go through that right now. 
<laughs> but anyways, this is water soluble graphite just for fun. You know, it's just, it's nice to keep it on the go in case I want to cover large areas with a portrait or a sketch. We've got random Bic pens and there's nothing wrong with ballpoint pen sketching. In fact, it's really, really fun. It, it is a time consuming thing, but I think it's more for the meditative purposes rather than just trying to get something quick out. And I actually did some sketches with the, well, yeah, I guess you'd consider them sketches um, with the Ink Joy Orange because I wanted to see what they looked like whenever you use orange ballpoint pen. But a lot of cross hatching involved. In fact, you should check out France Van Stone. She's on, she's the author of a book called Sketch and she's a teacher over at Sketch. She's also a very, very talented ballpoint pen artist. Sketching, really good at ballpoint pen, cross hatching and everything. She's amazing, you should check her out. And she usually use like, uses the regular colors of, let's see. She uses just like something like this, the little big pen. I bought this because I'm a pen junkie and I had to have the extra colors, the pastel colors, which are basically the same as this from what I tried out. <laughs> That's okay. You can never have too many pens. Um, we have, let's see, one more thing before I go. These guys right here, I keep these in a little separate um, Ipsy bag. These are the Pilot Eno mechanical color pencils. I freaking love these. I did a whole video on them. I'll leave it in a card and in the description box below. These two are my favorites to sketch with. I don't know what it is about these two particular, I'm sorry, I've got the wrong one. These two particular ones, um, the light blue and I believe this one's just called blue. But the light blue and this color, kind of the cobalt blue, works so well together. They're so pretty together. And here's a couple of sketches that I did with them. Drawings, whatever you want to call them. I feel like they have that sketchy kind of look to them. But they kind of give a glow to them. Just love the, the act of sketching is so meditative. Oh, and I did want to show you that this drawing in particular was done with two. Only two. HB and eight. I used, I used this 8B on some of these larger, darker areas right here. And I also used, I believe the jumbo pencils for part of the initial sketch in the HB on her hair. But what I liked about using just two is that it just, one and two pencils, it just goes to show you that you don't need the whole range of pencils unless you absolutely want them from graphite. And whenever I was in college, that was what was pushed was having all of the grades because they wanted us to learn all the values and tones. But as you become more experienced as an artist, you don't have to use that wide range. You can use only one or two graphite pencils to create the value of ranges that you want. But what I liked about this was that, you know, as I get older, I find that kind of leaving these edges kind of sketchier rather than just having a complete copy of what I'm drawing is a lot more fun. And sometimes leaving things unfinished is fun too. And that was something I learned from Franz Van Stude as well. That is what I sketch with. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my most popular things that I like to sketch with. That being said, I hope that this has been kind of fun and informative. I just kind of wanted to come on here and show you guys what I like to do. And if you want to have, if you want to have me take you through a demo of what I like to sketch with different parts of the face, I can give you a nice colored pencil sketch demo. Or if you want me to do graphite, I can do that as well. So this just goes to show you that I have a lot of crap in just this one, <laughs> this one case. And um, I don't recommend stuffing it to the brim. I don't, but do what you got to do. You know, if you like me, you like all kinds of different drawing supplies and you can do whatever you want to do. It's your world, as Bob Ross said. So what'd you think? Were some of your favorites the same or not? Or did you learn something? Did you figure out that you need to go out to that nearest art supply store and see if you can find some of those open stock? That's what I love about art supplies. <laughs> I love all kinds of things about art supplies, but one of the things I love about art supplies is that I can go to a nearby art supply store and just look and see what all the little goodies that are open stock are in the drawing pencil section or colored pencil section and just kind of look and see if there's something new or something that you haven't tried and you're kind of curious. Anyways, thank you for joining me and I will talk to you guys next time and I will see you guys soon. So have a wonderful day, keep creating, and I'll see you later. Um, I keep in here a little bit of um, the... I can't talk. So on this first page, part, whatever you want to call it, on this first flap, I hate the word flap, okay. If you like the video at the end, give it a like, help me out a little bit, and uh, so that you can see more content in your algor algorithms of me. <laughs>
I can do that and kind of give you like a nice um, colored schedule. In this pocket here, I keep blending stumps, blending stumps. It'd be nice if I could focus on the camera here. Okay, you know, you know what? We're just gonna start over. We're gonna start over. Oh, just before I go, hold on. I got a whole bunch of new pens. And uh, if you want to have me go through the pen haul and try these out, <laughs> I'm really excited to use them. So thought I might share in that. If you want me to leave a comment below, <laughs> go ahead and enable me. 